The tillage land is one of the most important economic activities of the world, as it is not only the origin of the raw material in all type of food we consume, but it also produces millions of sustainable jobs for many peasants. A field crop is a world of different sizes, textures, colors and flavors that underlie life as we know it today. In this opportunity, we will get to know a small size fruit with a sweet flavor that has the strength to boost the dreams of 120 families. Blackberry is a plant that lives more than two years, composed by several stems, generally torn, which can grow up to 3 meters and reach a diameter of 1 or 2 centimeters. At the base of the plant there is the crown, where the stems are formed and is made up of many surface roots. The root system is deep, it could have more than a meter below the ground depending on the soil and subsoil. The inflorescences are presented in terminal clusters, but occasionally sprout in the axil of leaves. The fruit is formed by the union of small droops in green clusters, in the moment of growing up in red and in a second stage with a dark purple causing the maturity of the plant. In the world, there are more than 300 different species of blackberry, but in general terms, we can identify the so-called Andean blackberry from the high and tropical regions of Latin America and the black mulberry which it had its origin in the Middle East. But let's go to the mountains of a borough called Belén de Umbria in Risaralda, a province that belongs to the so-called Triangle of Colombian Coffee, territory of coffee growers who have decided to work with the blackberry for this one to be the central axis of further projects. Our productive project, which is the blackberry, we do it based on our housing plan being 120 families, the ones who join each other every month to come and provide a partial wage in our productive project. To start a new crop of blackberry that is efficient and durable, you need to run the right and appropriate propagation system. In this particular project, it is implemented the elbow tip technique which consists in causing the formation of roots to a stem attached to a mother plant certified. The first step is to select a branch from the base of the plant that is vigorous with terminal leaves that are together and having a diameter larger than a pencil. This branch must be long enough so that when you bow it, you can bury its extremity from 5 to 7 centimeters into a bag with prepared soil. But what type of soil is needed to establish this crop? To obtain a sweet blackberry flavored with a good size, this one should be planted on a clay loam soil rich in phosphorus, potassium, with a pH between 5.2 and 5.7, being this its optimal level. On the other hand, it could be established in altitudes between 1,200 and 3,500 meters above sea level, with an annual average rainfall between 1,500 and 2,500 millimeters and a relative humidity of 80 or 90 percent. Approximately 35 or 40 days after having planted the elbow tip, it is time to perform the transplant to field. It is very important to disinfect the tool before making the cut for preventing the spread of possible diseases. This is an elbow which it has 35 days of having been planted there and if we can see the absent hairs are already there. Prior to the transplant we have to establish the planting distances that are usually ranged or measured between 1.5 by 1.5 meters on 3 by 3 meters from plant to plant and between streets. It is recommended to make the hole into the ground from 40 by 40 centimeters and mix the land with organic material 
and other elements that you have determined the soil needs after having performed a corresponding analysis. The material within the hole should be well mixed and soiled to facilitate the right development of the root. It is also suggested disinfecting the plants for a few minutes for the root to be completely clean. Finally, it is convenient to make pressure around for the elbow to get steady and firm to the ground and not be overturned by the wind or rain. A proper plan of fertilization is vital for the correct development of the plant from now on. The root fertilization, we do it monthly for both small plants and adult plants. We always do this process monthly, having in mind that if the plant is already in a production process, it is required a special fertilization because we need it to be high in potassium and also carrying phosphorus. This last element, we use it in a higher percentage, but according to the management of the plant itself. It means that if we have high production, but all of a sudden production decreases and the plant needs to be pruned, we need backup of phosphorus, because when pruning there will be a loss of roots and if we use phosphorus, it will make the plant to be back nurtured by absorbent hairs and roots for its normal cycle in production nuts harvest. Besides, foliar fertilization is also important because elements such as potassium, calcium, magnesium operate better when applied in this mode. This practice must be performed monthly as a supplement to the fertilizers used in the root. Foliar fertilization is performed monthly, but we intercalate this process. In other words, if 15 days ago I applied the one of the root, in the next 15 days I apply the foliar and I start all over again. By this way we rotate both fertilization process. Because the blackberry growth is flush, approximately 120 days after the transplant, the development of the plants must be guided through the installation of a pilot system, which consists of enhancing their structures artificially. First of all, bamboo sticks are placed, each one of them on two plants. We keep them together with a steel wire rope. And finally, by doing more edges, each plant branches are whole. This procedure favors air and sunlight going to do effectively tasks of maintenance of the crop, for example, pruning. Have you ever asked yourself which benefits small fruits such as the blackberry could have? Blackberries are low in calories due to lacking of carbohydrates, however, they are rich in vitamin C, iron, potassium and calcium. Due to its antioxidant effect, it's recommended as a treatment against cardiovascular diseases, degenerative and even against some types of cancer. The elements responsible for the red pigments of this fruit also provide anti-inflammatory action against microbes. If you want to get to know more about this fruit, stay right here in Harvest. Phytosanitariously, pruning is very important. It depends on this that I have a lasting plant, a good production and a product of good quality because we'll cut branches that already produced or the branches that haven't produced anything but always this won't produce or if they do it will be something very low. Animal minerals removed from the plant and very little production, then it is not profitable for the producer. Let's take these branches that are not going to be efficient 
and we kept the ones that really show good characteristics for production. Pests controlled and diseases controlled is also very important because of fungus like Meldillo pulbosum or insects as the carrier ant, the worm barrenador, among others. Those may affect seriously the production for growing blackberries. We fight them with fumigation, with pruning management. This allows us to lower the pest population if there is no one very high because it is normal for the plant to have diseases. But what percentage do we have them in? 5, 10, 20 percent because definitely we will find them. Pernospera, Debotritis, Mildio Veloso, La Crespera, Anactrosnosis are the ones that attack the most the blackberry crops. In our case, we use fumigation in a very biological way. It is about having brightly colored and sticky traps that make some animals to look for these elements. One of the pests that it is very quiet and not easy to detect is Barrendor de Cuello. Dor attacks the root of the plant and makes an orifice where it gets in being very difficult to get it. But we fumigate or exterminate it with syringe and substances that can be elaborated by ourselves. So we put them in an orifice and the animal will get out by itself. Another strategy implemented in this crop to control pests is to switch blackberry crops with crops of flowers, emanating intense odor, keeping pests like aphidus and trips away. With control is done as follows. There are different ways, but the most common is with a side. After having a clean plate with the side, you pass cleaning the streets with a height over 30 centimeters. We only use herbicides when there are with a lot of wheat that can affect the crop. The planting technique, which consists in eliminating the brush around the productive unit, is a very important practice for an optimal development of fruits, since it decreases the influence of pests and it also avoids the plant to have to compete with these herbs for sunlight and other nutrients on earth. It has been a year since we started growing blackberries. It has been an amazing benefit because of our women head of families. It helps us to sustain them. And also with this project, we can keep moving forward with further housing plans. It is a nice job that we all have been doing with passion, love and enthusiasm. Actually, we are doing a workshop about elaboration and all different products are in based on Blackberry. In those, I include my daughter who contributes the most to collect the Blackberry. Blackberry growers from Belén de Umbria want to take their project to a higher level. By weekly training programs, they learn how to transform this fruit in other products such as jam, pulp of juice, jelly, syrup, among others. The ideal for the future is to offer added value that distinguishes them from other blackberry growers in the country. Have you ever asked yourself which nutritional properties may small fruits like blackberries have? Blackberries are particularly recommended for improving the immune system and defenses, and also for preventing and helping on anemia treatments when there is a lack of iron. Since it is high in vitamin C, it helps absorbing iron in the blackberry as it does it in other types of food. On the other hand, its large contribution of fiber helps to prevent and treat constipation issues by improving the intestinal transit. Our production lies in effort and union of families into a housing plan. We are 120 families and working together with equability. 
we come to work for them being able to reach our houses. Later, under the same project and other ones including Advocado Coffee, our objective is to get at least one job per family and not only our own houses but also the possibility to provide our sons post-secondary education. To Luis Carlos Zapata, growing blackberries represents much more than an economic livelihood. It is a life project which is shared with his people, who with a lot of effort have been able to achieve a product with optimal quality that is even required for one of the greatest transformer raw material companies. My name is Gloria Ocampo. I've known this crop for three years now. I used to work with my husband up there collecting the blackberry. It's nice to collect it because you can run into more people. We are in a diversion which makes a great environment to collect blackberry. With this, we have been able to buy our food, to pay the rent, sustain our houses, provide our children education, and this project is to keep moving forward with products made of blackberry because we have been on this for four and a half years. We were born in this farm. To make more projects, we hope to have our own houses. Our dream is that our children grow up getting to know this project because later on they will have their own business growing blackberries and will reach their goals. Peasant communities like the one in Belén de Umbria are a model to be followed. It let us see the quality and productivity go by the hem with equality and common success. Our project is also try to articulate and engage our children, our women, husbands and elderly people along the way. In 20 years we will have to give this legacy to our children. That's why we are a model, an Israeli model called Kibab. And to be honest, it has been four years and we have seen a lot of benefits and we are convinced that community work is the key for resolving any issues in our peasant family.